All right, guys. Hi, it's Miss Williams again. We're back with a new story, and it is called Gentle Giant Octopus. The author is Karen Wallace, and the illustrator is Mike Bostock. All right, so don't forget that you're going to send these answers back to your teacher for the questions that they send you this week. Gentle Giant Octopus. A gentle giant octopus just through the shadows. She's huge like a spaceship. Her eyes glow in the water. Long tentacles fly like ribbons behind her. Silver-backed fish scatter before her. A wondering mother octopus moves through the water. Inside her body, she carries her eggs. She looks for a den that is safe and well hidden for a crack in a rock face or a hole under a stone. When octopuses move quickly, they jet backward by sucking in seawater and pumping it out through a funnel-like siphon. An octopus sinks like a huge rubber flower. Sand muddies the water as she lands on the seabed. Octopuses use their tentacles like fingers to sense things. They use the suckers on their tentacles to grip things. Octopus eyes turn frontward and backward. Her tentacles sense a crab in the water. A tentacle searches, it stretches and touches. Unlucky octopus. Crab claws have sharp edges. They nip at the tentacle. The octopus pulls back. The crab scuttles sideways and escapes in the sand. A mother giant octopus lies over the seabed. Her body stretches like taffy over the stones. Her skin ripples like seaweed. She's black as a sea kelp. The goggle-eyed octopus finds, feels her way forward. Usually, the giant octopus is reddish brown, but when it's hunting or hiding, it can change to become very dark or very pale within seconds. But under a boulder, a wolf eel is waiting. His mottled gray face darts from the shadows. His teeth strike like daggers. He rips off a tentacle. Octopuses have eight tentacles. A healthy octopus can regrow its tentacles if they are damaged then sinks like a nightmare deep into his den. If an octopus is attacked, it will squirt out a cloud of inky liquid to hide its escape. A frightened giant octopus squirts ink at the wolf eel. She shoots back from the boulder, back over the seabed. She's pumping and sucking the sea from her body. A quivering giant octopus rests on a boulder. Underneath is a cave that is easily guarded. Octopuses are about as clever as cats, and like cats, they are very curious. She squeezes inside. She drags pebbles around her. Her search for her home is over at last. Octopuses don't have any bones, and they can squeeze through the tiniest of holes. A mother giant octopus lays eggs in her cave den. They hang from the roof like grapes on a string. She guards them from crabs and nibbling fishes. While her babies are growing, she never eats and never rests. A female giant octopus will lay as many as 60,000 tiny eggs. After five months, her babies swim from their egg sacs. They squirm and they wiggle. They jet through the shadows. They're sucking and pumping the sea from their body. Lots of other animals like to eat baby octopuses, so only two or three out of every brood live to become adults. A mother giant octopus rests in her cave den. She watches her baby swim up through the water. A gentle giant octopus shrinks in the shadows. Her life is over as their lives begin. There's an index from last week. Remember, that's a text feature that you will see in stories 
most of the time nonfiction stories. Right, and that is the end. So remember guys, make sure that you're checking Dojo and you check for the questions that your teacher posts each day and answer them and send them back to them. See you guys next week.